people of this land and of all lands, if you partake in this present darkness, if you do nothing to stand against it, if you give your approval and lend your support and cast your vote to those rulers and those agendas that advance the darkness, that war against the ways of God, that shed the blood of innocent children, then how can you not invoke the judgment of God upon your land, your nation, and upon your own life? We stand at the crossroad, crossroads today between two altars and two destinies. And as the voice of Elijah called out to his nation in ancient times and now cries out to America, how long, how long, America, will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, then serve him. But if Baal is God, then serve him and go to hell. Two and a half thousand years ago, the prophet Jeremiah stood with a potter's jar in the capital city of his nation. The jar, a symbol of that nation formed by God's hand, molded for his purpose and appointed as his vessel. But the nation had forgotten those purposes and now warred against them. How then could it stand? 400 years ago, Today, the Mayflower sailed through the waters of the Atlantic and a new civilization was brought into being and formed as a consecrated vessel for the purposes of the Almighty. But that vessel, America, has also forgotten the purpose for which it was formed and now wages war against them. How then can it stand? And how can God bless a nation that wars against his ways, that blasphemes his name, that silences his word and vilifies those who uphold it, that sheds the blood of over 60 million of its children. Can the smiles of, a, of heaven remain upon it? They cannot. Such things only lead to judgment. God told the prophet Jeremiah, take that vessel and show it before the people. And then... Smash the vessel. For if a nation's course remains unchanged, so too will its end. For a house divided, a house that wars against its own foundation, cannot remain standing.